a fastball. Two out in the first, no score. Gene Michael, safe at first base. Yastrzemski legged it out. Now, I think that may be a perfect example of what Carl mentioned to me during spring training. He said that... Base hit past Alvarado. Clark taking the turn at first. Yastrzemski throws it in. The leadoff man is on for the Yankees. Horace will hopefully handle the burden of the catching job for the Red Sox this year. Eddie Casco is hoping that Jerry Moses will be able to catch in the vicinity of 100 to 125 ball games. Batted 333 this spring, batted 304 a year ago. Alvarado gets back. Ken, I was talking to Gene Michael before the game, and he's talking about he thought their ball club had, had improved themselves 50%. There's a base hit. Alvarado goes around second. He's heading for third. Here's the throw by White. It's cut off. The throw down to second. And they've got Moses trapped. And he is tagged out. Alvarado hangs on a third. Last year, Peters is 10 and 14 against the Yankees' lifetime. Hits one to right. Lefrey going back. He can't get it. It'll be a ground rule double as Gary Peters comes through with a double into the Yankee bullpen and Boston is in front one to nothing home against the Yankees. Face hit for Rico. Here comes Jazz with a second run. Scotty is taking that turn at third and being held by Pop on a double. Petroselli whams a double down into the corner and left. Yastrzemski comes across the plate. Better average is right-handed. I think one year he's hit better right-handed. Peters got him with a foul tip third strike. Doings here at the stadium. In the National League, the Mets and the Pirates are in the 10th inning, 3-3. Seaver has left for New York, but Blass is still in there for Pittsburgh. I think that's Ron Taylor now for the Mets. And Right. Scotty bangs one to right center. There's his alley and there's his base hit. All the way past Leffery. Scott has two. Scott wants three. Here's the throw, the slide. He's got three. Infield, three quarters of the way in. Pass third again. Rico signed for another double. And a ground rule double is called as Spectator knocks the ball. Scott scores. It's 3 0 Boston. And Rico has his second double of field. It's almost entirely in shadow now. Fair ball. Pass there. Caroming into left. That scores Petroselli. Moses trying for two. The slide. And he is out of there. As the play is put on by Horace Clark. So Moses is having a terrible time on the bases, but. He's got as Petroselli scores the second run of the inning. Tried him with a tough curveball, one and two. Now it hit him. It was ruled that it hit him by Jim Honachick, the umpire. So that is going to be in there for a base hit. Yes, we'll go to the plate. And the runner will score. Gets away from Moses. Backed up by Barry Peters. Runners at second and third. Cater. Then the single and the error and the run. That is going to be in there. A ground rule double and two runs score. Kurt Bleffrey with a slice double down the left field line bounced into the stands for the ground rule double. Gets two runs batted in scoring Cater and or Munt Mercer. And there'll be a new pitcher. Lee is being brought into the game. A left hander against New York in Yankee Stadium is what Casco wants. 
And here's a fellow who last year won his first major league game late in the year, was brought up from Pittsfield about mid, just before midseason, and has pitched very well this spring. He has worked uh, in this spring, he won two and lost none, pitched 14 innings, and gave up three earned runs, struck out 12, and walked only three. Gave up 13 hits in that time. He's got a variety of pitches, and he appears that he's a little faster this year than he was last. Missed ball four. Took something off the curveball that time, almost a changeup, and. Hansen was acquired late by the Yankees. Reggie Smith in center field having it. Runners holding. Two on in the sixth. Clark has had two hits and fouled out. Two for three. A number. Lee will go to first with it. Got him. And Bill Lee gets out of the trouble. As Clark is retired. From New London. Struck out, reached on a fielder's choice, and was hit by a pitch. He lines one into left center for a base hit. Cut off by Yaz. He fires it in. It's a single. So with two out in the Yankee seventh, Ellis is on. No runs, one hit, one man. Strike three, Bill Lee fans him, and that is all in the eighth inning. No runs, no hits, and one man left on at the end of eight, Boston four and New York three. Four to three. Horace Clark has two hits and four trips. Alvarado to Scott, one away. Alvarado over to Scott. Now popped the second and grounded out the third. Right back to Lee. Bill throws it over to first base, and the Red Sox have won their opener against the New York Yankees. And young Bill Lee has come out here this afternoon in the sixth inning and thrown three and two thirds innings of one hit shutout relief to preserve a victory for Gary Peters. Second baseman Cullen can't reach the ball. Smith is on first and holding there with a single. Reggie Smith some of it is better than others. Popped up by Yastrzemski. And it drops in there. Smith winds up on third. Yastrzemski on second. Reggie was halfway between second and third. McMullen trying to catch the ball. Going. Slow bounder down to Epstein. Smith scores. Yastrzemski goes to third and Scott's. The pitch gets by and here comes Yaz. A wild pitch. I'm sure it'll be scored. Epstein struck out in the first. Uh oh. Way out. And gone. 
home run for Epstein. Two to one, Boston. Really got into that one. It's no errors for Washington. Smith gets a base hit to left field. Frank Howard fielding the ball. Reggie holds at first base. A leadoff single for Smith. And that is his second hit. Out. Scott's up. George gets a base hit. Smith to second. He slipped going around the second base, would not have been able to. Drive into left center field. Howard going over. He can't get there. Smith comes in to score. Scott goes to third. Petroselli has a double. And it is three to one Boston. There's a fly ball to left field. Howard back. Scott tagging up. And he will score. Sharply hit. Andrews makes a good play and throws him out at first base. He almost loved that ball. There's a drive into right center field. Smith and Canigliaro going over, and Tony C makes the catch. over to Scott and the game's over. So the Red Sox have beaten the Senators in their first meeting of the 1970 season. The final score Boston four and Washington one. Louis Alvarado one for 11 this year. It bangs one to left field. It's a fair ball. Canigliaro around second. He's being waved on by Popowski. Brinkman has the ball. He throws. It's cut off by McMullen, and Boston leads 1 0. A double for Louis Alvarado down the line in left field. But Tony was really carrying the mail. He was really dipping sand going around second base. Moses hits a ball to an answer. He can't get it, and here comes Alvarado. And there's no chance for to get Louie. They threw the ball to second base. Bouncer over the mound. Gurney Allen making the throw in time. Fly ball down the line. It's a fair ball. Allen goes into second base. That was Mike Andrews who dived for. Coleman was wild, but listen, that's going to happen. There's a base hit. Gurney Allen is coming home, and it's two to one Boston. Roseboro hits a ground ball single into center field. Strike three. Unser does not strike out very much, but Siebert got him, and there are two men out here in the third. There she goes. Just no doubt about that one. Part of the plate, Ned, from up here it did. Two and two to Scott. Very high. Epstein going for it. And a fan gets in the way of it. And he's out. 
interference by a fan but they call him out anyway saying he would have had but he had a chance Petroselli made a great play Rico to Andrews to Scott double play out of the inning six four three they played ball game in the whole lot thus far That's right the kind you like to see Tony blooping yeah. one to center field for a base hit Unser having trouble but Tony holds it first and a one up Well stroked toward left field Howard can't get it that's going to be in there extra bases for Alvarado Tony coming home no play by Brickman it is four to three Washington another run producing double by little Louis Alvarado and he hit it just about the same place he had his double in the second inning. strike three on the inside corner Derek is out on strikes and the inning is over one run two hits and one left and after fellow they say if he can put it all together think a little bit maybe some kind of pitcher he strikes out Lee May one away May up with May out with McMullen up Ball and two strikes to McMullen. Washington leading 4 3 in the sixth inning. Good pitch. Off speed curveball. He had McMullen bamboozled. And Ken Brett has struck out the first two men to face him. Two down in the sixth. Bernie Allen coming up. He has double to right and on deck is Roseboro on the uh, <laughs> Washington bench to follow. Two and two. Brett strikes out the side in the sixth. One, two, three, they go. And after six innings, the score is Washington. Four. You saw the shift just then. Ball one. Howard grounded a short, then hit a homer in the third and a force play in the fifth. There's the three men on the. Ground ball to Rico. Over to Scott and Howard. Howard would try to go to right field just to occupy the base, but I thought he would right there. One and two. Because you cannot score runs without base runners. Strike three. Wow. Epstein is out. Brett gets his fourth strikeout. In two and two thirds inning. Back in the third, he popped the second. And in the second, he grounded to second. Strike one. There's a drive to right. Tony C. He's there. Makes the catch, and that is all for Washington in the eighth. No runs, no hits, and nobody left on. And at the end of eight full innings of play, the score is Washington four and in three innings of one hit shutout relief, striking out four. Schofield delivers a base hit. The duck is on as Lee May throws the ball in. Schofield leading off for the single. Slow bounder McMullen charging in throws Smith out Andrews gets second base. So the runner on second. A 
One ball, two strikes. There's Mike Andrews on second base for Boston. Strike three. And the ball game is over. That's all for the Red Sox and Boston three. And we'll be back with a rundown in just a moment. Six a year ago, including one 20 inning game that we remember very well in Seattle. There's a base hit to left. And Harper is on. So Tommy. The runner goes and Harper has stolen second base. Great speed. The ball pops out of Jerry's glove and onto third position really with the switch from Seattle to Milwaukee. He bought a home out in uh, Seattle. Pitch goes by, and here comes the run. Tommy Harper is home. Drive to left field. Home run. Number two on the base and Tommy Harper coming up. Tomorrow's game will start at two. Harper single to left field. A good solid base hit in the first inning and scored the run. Stole second, went to third on a wild pitch and scored on a wild pitch. But Rico Petroselli's three run homer has Boston ahead. There's another base hit. Yastrzemski in on the ball and they're holding the runner at third. He throws to third where Petroselli was covering. The run comes home. Harper with a clean. Good play by Yastrzemski. You notice they just don't run in this ballpark on Carl or Reggie with those great arms. And it's just of course right field here is a big field. You have a better shot. Russ Snyder up. There he goes. And uh, Tommy Harper has here's the hitter he has to get out to get that third out give himself a little breathing room here. Mm. Line drive base hit to left field Yastrzemski throws to second base the runner gets back safely as two runs score. All four of the runs charged to Sonny Siebert. There's a bunt. Safe at first base. Well done by little Louis. Al Fly ball to center, tagging up Alvarado. Snyder with a catch, and here's the throw. Alvarado scores, and we're tied at four. One. So after two, it's tied 4-4. Four, four. Emulate somebody, or like I just said, my, my son would be like this boy. Listen, my boy's pretty good now, and I like him the way he is. <laughs> There's a foul toward Alvarado. Now it's going fair, and he drops it. Louis Alvarado drops the ball. They feel that he does an outstanding job. There's a base hit to left down on the corner. Hegan around second and on to third. 
And it's a double for McNurtney. Runners at second and third base with nobody out on the. He just put his hands out. Uh, Mike was in front of him. Just. Drive to right field. Canigliaro drops it. One run is home. And they're holding up the second man. Rollins goes to second base. Scott cuts off the throw. Rollins hits one to right field. Bases are full. Five to four, Milwaukee, and the batter is Harper, who has singled twice and scored two runs. He singles again. One run is in, and they hold up the second man. And the bases remain loaded. Boy, this Harper is really wrapping that ball today. And now Eddie Casco is coming out. The bases are loaded. Throw hard. He's got that good sinker. In a, about three innings of work. There's a base hit into right field. One run is home. Here's the throw to the plate, and they hold up the second man. So uh, Snyder wasted no time as he bangs a single into right field, and it is now. Seven to four, Milwaukee. Bang. Hovley has reached on a fielder's choice and has single to left. The pitch gets away from Moses, and here comes another run across. Base hit, or is it? Yes, it is. The throw comes into third base and the bases are still loaded and another run comes home. Walton singles to left gets his 18th RBI of the season. He sends Harper across. Line drive to Smith the runner tags. Reggie makes the catch. Here's the throw. Not in time. Pitcher who started to warm up in the bullpen is veteran right hander Bob Locker. Schofield hits it to right center field. Snyder coming over. He can't get there. Schofield is on again. He's four for five as a pinch hitter for the Red Sox this year as he dunks one into right center field. Fly ball, Russ Snyder coming in, Harper back, it drops in. The Red Sox have runners at first and second as Andrews hits a pop fly into shallow center field. Fly ball, Snyder going after this one, and he makes the catch. Fly ball to right field. Hovley coming in. He can't make the play on it. The bases are loaded. Yastrzemski hits a single to right field. Schofield goes over to third base. Andrews is on second base and Yastrzemski is on first. So as you see Bob Locker the veteran right hander warming up out on the bullpen. Dave Bristol. The manager having gone out to the mound and in the bullpen. One ball, one strike. Sharp ground ball. Harper flips to second for one, back to first for a double play, and the ball game is over. 
Scott grounds into a double play to end it. We'll be back with a rundown for you in just a moment. <laughs> 